Welcome back. In the heat of summer, our partners at Intermountain Medical Center want to remind you about sun safety. In tonight's sponsor's segment, Utah has one of the highest incidents of skin cancer. For one Utah man, it was on the top of his head. News 4 Utah, Saray Chin has the story. I don't know, you can see the scar. 58 year old Chip Lavasek noticed a bump. I didn't think anything about it. I thought it was an ingrown hair, so. After a couple of months, Chip decided to get a check. The diagnosis wasn't good. An aggressive melanoma on June 12th of 2017. Melanoma is the most deadly skin cancer. It is not the most common, but it has the ability to spread. Dr. Tanya Bowles, a surgical oncologist at Intermountain Medical Center, says skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. The number of new cases surpass breast, prostate, lung, and colon cancers combined. Melanoma occurs most commonly in people over 50 due to the cumulative effect of sun exposure. An important exception to that are young people in the age of 25 to 45 who've had a lot of sun exposure with tanning beds or blistering sunburns. This can happen to anybody. I was never a tanning bed person. I wasn't a beach bum. Chip spent 20 years in the military and worked on ambulances outside. Doctors removed the small bump on his head and much more. At the end of the first surgery, they had to take out about the size of the bottom of a Coke can from the top of my head and then they had to go down to my neck. What most people should be looking for is what we call ugly ducklings on the skin. They're either moles or even spots that are not brown or black but can be pink, red, or flesh colored that are changing over time. Who is at highest risk? Those are people with fair skin, blue and green eyes, blonde or red hair. They are at risk just by their skin type. So they should be getting their skin checked every year. Chip is at risk for the skin cancer returning, although he's undergoing treatment and has had no signs of cancer for a year. And it's nothing to joke about. I was not a big sunscreen user. Of course, now I bathe in it almost. I, every time I go outside, I'm putting on sunscreen. I'm putting on a hat. And that was Sir Ray Chin reporting. Dr. Bowles says there is no perfect sunscreen, although Dr. Bowles says anything higher than SPF 30 is negligible. It will protect you from 97% of the sun's rays. Now remember, apply sunscreen every couple of hours. Seek shade. Void sun peak hours from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Cover up your skin with clothing, a hat, and UV sunglasses. Keep newborns out of the sun. Get a yearly checkup on your skin and remember that everyone should look for changes in their skin.